Hi everyone, Goldie here. So today I'm with Pip Jamison who runs The Dots here in UK. Pip, hi. Hi, how are you doing today? Amazing. Full amazing. On, but amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Could you tell us a little bit about your background and how you got to running The Dots? Yeah, so I studied maths and economics at university, mm -hmm. um, but I spent most of my career in the creative industries. Mm -hmm. And it was actually while I was working for MTV, I realized there was this new kind of way of work that was emerging, which is a lot more kind of fluid than that mm -hmm. kind of traditional white collar workforce. So, um, you know, the dots essentially, Forbes called us the next LinkedIn. Right. Um, <laughs> and the reason they do that is we look after what we like to call no collar professionals. What right. on earth are no collar professionals? Yes. Uh, they're creators, freelancers, entrepreneurs, people who are working in a non-linear fashion. Right. Um, so LinkedIn is brilliant if you come from that more traditional CV based career. Right. But a lot of the people I was surrounded with when I was working at MTV were kind of adopting freelance careers, portfolio mm -hmm. careers. They're increasingly slashies. They had right. side hustles. So trying to promote yourself online was really challenging. Um, so I'm a non-tech tech founder who started a tech business right. um, and somewhat naively decided to go up against <laughs> LinkedIn and I guess the rest is history. So. Right. Um, and congratulations on all your success you. and um, I know that you also successfully raised. Yeah. So if you could tell us a little bit about that and that process here in the UK. Yeah, so I mean we're slightly, slightly less mature I think than what you'd right. have in the US but just to put it in context here in the UK, 9% um, uh, of angel funding goes to female founders. Mm -hmm. uh, we raised 4 million recently, 4 million pounds yep. um, and at my level only 2.3% um, mm -hmm. um, goes to female founders. So raising investment is hard for any founder, right. um, but it can be particularly hard for women. Um, yes. But I have an incredible team and mm. we have a great product. So right. that sort of helps get that flywheel starting. Yes. Um, but I am very excited here in London to see the wave of women coming through. So Yes, and there are so many interesting programs that support women yeah. here. Are you part of any of them or do you work with any of them? Yeah, a number of ones actually. I mean, mm. London Partners run like right, my favorite program. <laughs> 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 so it was a program that was started to support female scale-up founders. Um, so I was part of the last cohort for the last year. Um, things that they do are, you know, we did a trip to the, the Valley, um, mm -hmm. which had never been sent around before, right. with 15 female founders, fireside chats with kind of industry leaders at Instagram right. and Google and Slack. and. Um, but it was just this amazing bonding experience between the women that I met yeah. on the trip because there's so few scale up founders. So you got here. to meet other amazing yeah. women yeah. who are doing very similar things to you and yeah. I think that is really the best part is that you got to be part of that community and now you know them very well. Yeah, oh, yeah. I mean they're, we're each other's cheerleaders and you yeah. know it's wonderful how we can kind of chat about share option plans or managing teams and yes. then we just, if someone's having a bad day, just kind of boosting each other as well and it's so important to have that really supportive environment especially when you're scaling, you need someone yes. to lean on. Um, yes. And it can be a bit lonely being a yes. founder, it can be a bit lonely being a CEO, so right. it's really important to have that ecosystem. And I think some of the challenges female founders are, have are quite um, distinct from other founders, so right. we can talk about those challenges very openly and help each other.